here's the reason you got to know what you're doing when you buy stuff. I've got routers to pick from okay. here. I've got a business that needs one. This 1200, well, you look at the details, okay? What's this 1200 mean? And you dig around, can't see it very easy, but it's basically 867 on the 5 gigahertz and 300 on the 2.4. Now, that's the AC standard. What's this one? 1900. And what does it say? Uh, you hide your specs from me, aren't you, brother? This is... 1300 on 5 and 600 on 2.4. Now that's the wireless AC standard. Here's where things get ugly. That's $59. So, for $69, we can get an AX1500, which it's a lower number, but it's AX. So, if you got AX, you're good to go, right? Well, uh, 1201 on 5 gigahertz and 300 on 2.4. And then, if you really want to spend some extra money, you got a beast like this. What is this? 4,400, now what is that? 3,843 and 574, but the 574 is at AX. Not a, it's not wireless in or AC or whatever. This is actually the better router because most of the customer stuff is Wi-Fi 5 or wireless AC. This provides 600 megabits on the 2.4 gigahertz band. They have issues with coverage and range and all that. Um, and they have fast internet but it doesn't reach far enough. This, despite being the second cheapest option, um, is actually the best product for their application. Now the AX4400 would be great if all their stuff was AX and really close to each other. This is gonna give them the best range and speed at the same time, and it's cheaper. That's why you need to know what you're buying before you buy it.